My name is Carl Koshman. I'm a pediatric neuro-oncologist at the University of Michigan. I'm also the clinical scientific director of the CHEDCAR Pediatric Brain Tumor Center here. I'm Shiram Vanetti. I'm a pediatric neuropathologist, and I'm the scientific director of the CHEDCAR Pediatric Brain Tumor Center at the University of Michigan. Cool. So can you explain the results from the clinical studies? Yeah, so this um, paper that came out today in Cancer Discovery is really exciting. Um, it's the biggest study looking at the efficacy and mechanism of this uh, drug Onc201 in diffuse midline glioma with H3K27M mutation. The clinical studies were an aggregate analysis of two studies that had been open over the last half decade. One was a phase one and one was an expanded access protocol. And we basically took the patients on those two studies that had been treated with the phase two dose and all treated in the same uh, way and monitored the same way. And when we did that analysis, we were excited to see that for patients that were treated after their initial radiation, but before recurrence, they had an overall survival that was 21.7 months. And um, the uh, reason that that's an exciting finding is that when we look at historical controls with patients with this diagnosis and mutation, those numbers are closer to 12 to 15 months. And so we'll need future studies to validate this, but it, it shows us that there's a really exciting um, evidence that there's, um, this drug is having a signal in this tumor. Okay, and what was discovered about how Onco201 works in these cells? So what was really interesting is that Onco201 affected two different pathways in the cells. Um, the first pathway was it was zapping the mitochondria and this shut down energy production in tumor cells, and the second was it reversed the epigenetic phenotype. Now, these tumors have an epigenetic mutation, and the changes in these tumors um, are epigenetic and they drive disease um, in these tumors, and onto one was actually reversing this and was causing the cells to differentiate more and divide less. So I think this was um, the most important and surprising aspect of the study. And what is the next step? So the, the follow-up studies are, are already underway trying to build on this success. Um, we're part of a multi-site uh, international clinical trial through the PNOC consortium in which drugs are added on top of ONC201. We look for drugs that work well with ONC201 in our preclinical studies, and then we combine them with ONC201 in the clinical setting at that phase two dose. Um, there's also work underway to see if, if we can build upon the success of ONC201 by adding immunotherapy. So there are studies in the lab and to be established in the clinic, uh, um, uh, hopefully in the near future, where ONC201 will be combined with viral therapy and potentially CAR-T therapy. And why were these results surprising? So these results were really surprising because we could see these changes in patient tumor samples. Um, most of the studies done to date have been in animal models, and this showed us this reversal in this epigenetic um, changes in tumor cells right in patient tumor tissues, confirming that this drug was doing what it's supposed to do in uh, patients um, on this clinical trial. Yeah, and I'll just add to that that um, there have been a lot of studies in this patient population that, that haven't helped or haven't improved um, outcomes, and so I think um, we were just surprised to see that there appeared to be this signal um, and that it gives us something to build upon um, for the future of treatments for these patients.